Hey there guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you my Airsoft EVA cosplayish armor loadout. I originally got the idea for the build after playing in a foam banana suit which absorbed BB impacts flawlessly. I've been working night and day on this for the past two weeks and I'm excited to show it off. The suit itself is crafted from EVA foam that is originally used on flooring in the martial arts centers. On the bottom is a bucket for holding extra ammo, though I'm planning on getting rid of this soon because it gets in the way too much. For Face Pro, I'm utilizing a Black God Evike.com mask. The shoulder pads are pinup girls riding a bomb because, well, I kind of like that punk war aesthetic. I've also crafted foam forearm guards to hopefully lessen the pain associated with arm shots. For my secondary, I'm running my foam nurse sword, which is excellent for handling close quarters. And of course, I'm using my MK22 Commando as my primary, simply because it shoots limit here and because it's one of the better guns I own. On top of which, I'm running a forward folding grip and my true glow red dot sight. But enough about that, let's get into some gameplay with it. So, in today's footage, we were playing at Eagle Freak in quite the busy day. It felt close to about 20 or 25 people, and weirdly enough, we were all kind of playing with a bunch of the local Airsoft YouTubers today. The likes of which included me, Lopad of POC, Pinedo X, and a bit more of someone that's been at a while, AST Kilo, which was pretty cool. Everyone was really nice, and overall it was a fun day, but sadly my cares ran out of memory right before the last game of the day, which was really good. I was kicking myself. Another interesting thing too was that HP guns were allowed here today, and let's just say I was happy to have armor on for a lot of these situations because, well, quite a few shots impacted very close to each other due to that HPA system. That's going to be a lot more painful without any armor. I mentioned it before, but I kind of view HPA as a sort of pay-to-win of airsoft, particularly on outdoor fields. And that's not to say that every HPA player is bad, but the percentage I've encountered that are bad are at a higher number than that I found with AEG users. I know on this game day, for instance, I had a couple of instances where oh people God, were using semi in a pretty darn high round per second count with HPA guns. That was higher than the allotted 8 rounds per second. Another thing I was doing just because I had no foam armor on was calling hits I realistically shouldn't have called. Here I didn't actually get hit. I felt no vibration on the armor and heard nothing by the time it had most definitely been shot by me. But it was a situation in which I could realistically see someone thinking I had cheated, so I called it anyways. Funny enough, the foam armor actually kind of helps me to call hits better than anything made out of fabric, because vibrations in the armor actually telegraphs my skin better than when I'm wearing something made out of cloth. In addition, the sound of being shot is actually much louder. I was quite happy that at the end of the day, no one was complaining about me, whereas there was quite a few accusations thrown around at others not calling hits that were wearing plate carriers.
see the strategy which I've been trying to employ lately, which is rounding a corner low. Doing this allows you to get a drop on an opponent easier than trying to do it at a normal height. This gives you a fraction of a second where the opponent has to aim down that will allow you to drop them first. Thank you all very much for watching today's gameplay, and if you'd like to stay up to date on the channel, you can hit the subscribe button below, and as always, have a great day, and peace.